In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this quick warp transition in After Effects. This is my two clips here that I'm going to be transitioning right here. I'll create a new adjustment layer and I'll add two effects. The first one is going to be motion tile and the second one is going to be a bulge effect. I will trim down my adjustment layer accordingly to my transition area and on my motion tile, I'll set the outputs here to 200 and 200. I'll select mirror edges and on my bulge radius here, I'll set both to 1000. Now I'll split the layer down on my transition point by holding down Ctrl Shift D. I'll set a keyframe for my bulge height here, so set it to minus one, select the stopwatch and let's go to a few frames backwards here and set it to zero. I'll bring up the keyframes by hitting U, select the first one, hit F9, go into my graph here and just adjust it to go like so. Now on my second adjustment layer, which we just split, I'll set a keyframe for my bulge height to be from minus one to zero over time. I'll do the same with this keyframe. So F9, go to the graph and drag it like so. Now we've got this wrap effect kind of happening. Let's add two additional effects to this second adjustment layer. I'll add a transform effect and I'll set the scale here to 500, set a keyframe and I'll hit shift to snap onto the keyframe from our previous effect and set it to 100. I'll add another effect called optic compression and this is just extra in case you want to. I'll select reverse lens distortion, click on the stopwatch under my FOV and on the first frame here, I'll set it to 50. I'll hit you once again to bring up all the keyframes we've got here. I'll select all these three, F9 and go into my graph and just like we've done previously, drag them like so. I will also enable motion blur on my adjustment layer here. And this is how you can create this warping transition. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.